In this MATLAB based simulation environment, we are going to look into an image quantization. So initially, uh, I have an image which has a title picture and this is in JPG format. So I'm going to uh, use a function which is image read. Uh, then the values of that image would be stored in a, a matrix or a tensor I. After that, using IM show that is image show, I'm going to display the image. Uh, and uh, then the title of the image is set to original image. I'm also interested in looking at the quantization levels of this image. So let us start the simulation. So the picture is over here. Uh, it is framed by a black bold line. It contains text and an image. So this image has a format in which we have an x axis and a y axis. So x and y axis indicate the pixels. So we have pixels, they are identified by uh, dots per inch DPIs, right? And also for each pixel over here, for this pixel, the number of quantization levels L is 256. So this means that we have a matrix of this form which has a pixel but at the same time each pixel 256 values. So we have a two dimensional matrix but each element is an array itself uh, indicating one of the values from 0 to 256. So in order to understand uh, the aspects of quantization, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to reduce the quantization levels of this image from 256 to 8. Now, as a first step, what I have done is I'm going to partition uh, 256, that is the quantization levels, uh, into 7 levels by means of a function which is multi-threshold. So I would use i and I would partition it to 7. So let's increment the simulation by one step. So using multi-threshold, now I have threshold 8, so which is simply an array of 7 numbers that is 18, 60, 109, 147, 176, 199, 221. So this has multi-threshold as partitioned 0 to 256, uh, 0 to 255 into these 7 elements. And after that, to take the 8th level, I have used the maximum value of i over here, right? So this 7 is appearing over here and they are cascaded with the maximum value. So value max 8 is uh, an 8 element array starting from 1860 and terminating at 255. That is the maximum value of a quantizer, right? So in line 24, uh, I'm going to use the function that is image quantize, I am quantize. Right, and we have uh, the image value i threshold 8 coming from line 20, and the code book coming from line 22, uh, which is titled as value max 8. So, image quantize is going to give us two outputs the first one is quantize 8 i max, and the other one is index. So, let us understand what is quantize 8 i max. So, the quantize 8 i max is simply uh, based on the these values that is values max 8 so it is going to take the maximum value so if it is 0 it is going to consider consider 18 and so on right so so this is our maximum value quantizer similarly we can have a minimum value quantizer so what we can do is in this threshold in line 20 we can append before that the minimum value of i right so we would have the minimum value of i which is equal to 0 so this value minimum 8 is 0 8 60 109 and until 2 to 1 note that value max 8 was starting at 8 18 and finishing at 255 whereas value minimum 8 is starting at 0 and terminating at 2 to 1 right so we would have quantization or quant 8 i minimum so value minimum 8 which is this thing 26 treated as a function and it is having a value which is index 
and this index is coming from the, um, this function image quantize right to understand further uh, the quant i max and min let us go back to the image so for any image in matlab there is an inbuilt uh, color code and uh, by default that color code is simply parula and it starts with uh, a darker color that is blue and terminates at a lighter color which is simply yellow right and there are 256 levels in this uh, color coding scheme right so by max it means that if we have a value over here say 18 right in max everything is going to be approximated uh, to 18 if it is nearby so whereas in minimum the initial value is 0 so any value which is near 0 is going to be approximated to 0 in minimum value whereas in maximum anything near to 18 would be approximated to 18 even the first value will be approximated to 18 so you would have a lighter code or a lighter image uh, for the max quantizer and a darker image for a uh, light quantizer so hence by means of image quantize we have reduced from 256 to 8 levels of quantization so similarly we have uh, quantization levels which are reduced to 4 from 256 and over here we have threshold of 4 and 4 levels so we would have the maximum value and the minimum value so let us plot the images after quantizing down from 256 levels to 8 levels over here and 4 levels over here and for that uh, i have used uh, a cat function we are going to have four images the first image is uh, quantization in the prula minimum values quantization eight level maximum values of the prula and then quantization four level minimum value and quantization four level maximum value and then i'm going to use a function which is called montage so i'm going to furnish the argument of montage by multi which is given in line 43 and some uh, titles and labels so let us proceed further with the simulation so over here we have the quantized images in a matrix form so on the first column we have minimum interval value which is defined over here quantize 8i minimum right this is from the prula and as mentioned previously if you have the minimum value you're going to to get a darker image right so on the second column we have maximum value which is coming from here right and this would be a lighter value big right uh, the first row is identifying eight levels of quantization whereas the second row identifies four level of quantizations right so as a summary we have an original message and then quantized down images uh, in a matrix form and you can observe that even though the text is almost similar even when we are having uh, four levels of quantization uh, as compared to 256 but the image is going to lose a lot of information